So welcome to question 6 on the 2022 change cycle paper, or the graphics paper. So part A, the image below shows the design of a toy rocket. The body of the rocket is based on an ellipse. Match the correct letter with the appropriate graphic, or sorry, orthographic view shown in the table. One view has been completed for you. So if we look down here, B has been completed first. So B looking in from the rear of our, um, of our toy rocket. So let's start up here. So this view, you can see we've got our top uh, top wing, I suppose, the bottom wing, and then we've got the rear there. So D is looking in, so we're not going to see those wings. A uh, is looking down on top of the wing, so C is the one where we're looking in, we're seeing that wing. Next one, we're looking in along it, so it's almost the, the flip or the reverse of B, so D, and then A is the one that's left looking down on top and we can see that wing there, A. So, part B, label <coughs> the parts of the drawing below by selecting from the given list. So the normal, okay, so if I have a tangent, my normal is at 90 degrees to it. So here's my tangent, I suppose I'll write in my tangent here. My normal is at 90 degrees, so normal. My minor axis, so I have a major axis and a minor axis, the minor is the smaller of the two. So minor axis is this one. And then I have a minor circle they're looking for, so I have the larger circle, which is the major circle, smaller one is the minor circle. Okay, so part C. The image on the right shows the tail of the rocket. So we've got our tail here. The design of the tail is based on a cone. So we've got cone A and a cylinder B. Shown below is the elevation in end view and incomplete surface development of the tail of the rocket. Complete, so we've got our elevation, end view, and then this is part of our development. Complete the development of the cylindrical surface B. So we can ignore A, ignore this part, we're just dealing with cylinder B. Okay. So that, if I just think about my cylinder, okay, that's my cylinder shape, right? And we're trying to fold it out. So it's going to make a rectangular uh, shape. The height of the rectangle, or the width here in this case, has been projected down first. So we need to find basically the length of the circumference. So this whole thing folded out. Okay. Um, we don't do that mathematically, we do that using generators. So we need to find, let's say, I'll just show a couple of generators here. So those are some of our generators. And the distance between generators is consistent, it's the same between all of them. Okay, so I'm going to find my generators over here in my end elevation by dividing this view up using our 60, 30 degree set square. And that's going to divide it up into 12 equal parts. distance between the generators, so from 1 to 2 will be the same distance from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and so on. So I am going to step off there, we'll call this point 1, that's generator 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, and to extend this one down. Ten, 
11 and 12. And we'll just number them off just to make sure. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So. Okay, so that is my surface development. cylindrical surface B. Okay, because they're only asking us for B, they're not asking us for you know, the, the circular base, like the circular top and bottom there, so just that surface B. So on to uh, D then. So we have uh, shown on the right, a dimensions drawing of the toy rocket. So we've got a toy rocket here. The curve ABC is an ellipse. So ABCD is an ellipse. AC is the major. So A to C is the major axis. And they've given us the length of the major axis. And BD is the minor axis of the ellipse. BD is the minor, and they've given that to us here. The line PQ is tangent to the ellipse at point P on the curve. PQ is a tangent, so that's a tangent. And point P on the curve, which we'll be able to find is 35. So let's go through the steps of this. Given the height, or sorry, the length of the major axis and the minor axis, draw the ellipse. So that's our first thing, draw the ellipse. So I'm going to use the concentric circle method so A, C, so this is my major circle. My minor circle. Okay. Let's split that up. These are my 60, 30 degree set square. So there's my major axis. Here's my major circle that's been cut. So I'll draw towards the major axis, towards the major axis, towards the major axis. So major, major. meet those so at point three five two six twelve eight okay so those are my points these on this C okay now I'll draw my ellipse. So, free on curve, looking at the point I'm travelling towards. Okay, so as I draw this, as I hit this point, I look towards my next point. 
never looking at the point on the pencil, always looking where you're going. You'll get your nice gradual curve. Okay, so that is our ELIPS. Next up, use the given dimensions to complete the drawing for your toy rocket. So I'm going to start with my tangent, okay, because that was another thing that they mentioned. So let's find point P. Okay, so point P is 35 out and go up. So 35 from A goes straight up. That right there is point P. Okay. Now to find my tangent, the first thing I need to do is find focal points and they've indicated that to us we're going to need them for other, another part of this joint. So my focal point, I get half the major axis, so half the major axis, and from either this side of the minor or this side of the minor, it doesn't matter, I'm going to swing an arc on my major. So half the major axis swung from the end of the minor axis. And that is going to locate me. Show them here. F1, F2. So construction for a tangent. I'll do this in colour as well so it can be seen. So I draw from my focal point out to my point. From the focal point out to my point of contact. That angle then I'm going to bisect it. So compass, so if it's any distance, swing an arc where it crosses there, point the compass down, swing an arc, and the same distance swung on the opposite side. So this is my tangent. Okay. So <coughs> let's finish off that tangent. So the tangent ends vertically above point. So point Q there is vertically above point F1. So or F2. So to F2. So that finds. Q, I'll go over my tangent heavy there. Um, and I'll the front of the ship, which is at F2 or F1. Okay, the base here at point D, I want to find the radius of a circle vertically down, this radius 20, so let's draw a line down, compass, set it to radius 20, and that is the centre of a circle that I'm going to draw, so here's my circle, I just need a quarter of it, so a quadrant, there and I'm joining that back to where F hits the curve or the line coming down from F1 hits the ellipse. So now onto the tail. So I'm going from F1 out 43 and 20. Or sorry, from F2 out 43 and 20, and draws in there. Now we've got a 30 degree line from F2, so a 30 degree line from F2, and that will be heavy here. Now we've got axis line, so this is symmetrical, it's telling me there and there will be the same. So I'm going to go with 30 degrees in the opposite direction. That will find me the position of this rectangle, or the height of that rectangle. And 
just finish off that. So I'll double check we've got everything there, my ellipse, my tangent, construction, and my tail, heavy lines where they're heavy or where they need to be heavy. Uh, and it doesn't say anything there about shading or rendering, so that is part D completed in question six. Okay, so that's the full paper completed in 2022.